Accounting and job costing is one of the greatest priorities in construction. In fact, 75% of companies rate this type of software as having a high level of importance. However, as most of you know, this is no easy task to manage. Today, someone you should know comes from Southern California. Cumming Construction Management provides consulting for budget planning and forecasting, and this company recognizes the value of using technology. Cumming Construction Management recently moved from manual methods for creating budget planning and forecasting reports to a cloud-based automated system that leverages Excel. Profit reporting used to take four weeks, and it is now done in a single day. This results in savings of $50,000 annually in labor with new technology. This also enables the company to take a proactive approach with business decisions. It has also freed up time putting reports together and aggregating data. Now, the company spends more time on the value-add side of finance. Previously, I sat down with Dominic DiBernardo, Director of Operations at Cummings Construction Management. Dominic, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Peggy. So, Dominic, let's talk a little bit about how technology fits into the picture of what you guys are doing at Cumming Construction. Um, well, we're, you know, we're using technology to automate processes, you know, streamline um, legacy processes. You know, for example, coming to the uh, budgeting process, you know, is a very manual process that was done in Excel, and there was, you know, version control, uh, the lack of audit visibility. And just the, the cumbersomeness of sending files back and forth and not having a single source of truth and no, no uh, process flow. Um, so we wanted to find a technology solution that could help us address some of those issues, among others. So has technology always been a big part of what you've been doing, or is it just recently in trying to manage processes that it's become something that's really been pertinent to everything you guys are doing? I think it's something we've always tried to stay ahead of the curve. Uh, curve of and um, you know I think just we've gotten to a point where in, in our growth curve where there were certain areas of the business that maybe technology wasn't a high priority focus and you know we found weak spots and wanted to fix those before they became bigger issues as we continued to to grow. So how do you manage I mean when you think about growth it to me I would think that's a big part of it but how do you manage the ROI with that because technology sometimes can have that double-edged sword when you think about it a little bit. So how do you manage that with all the other things that you're doing right now? Um, I think it's one of those things that you, you have to make sure you carve out the time to, to get it implemented. I mean, the ROI sometimes can be can be hard to measure, but there's certain things that, you know, the, the ROI in the beginning may, may be minuscule, but we know that there's a longer-term picture that we have to address, right? So, um, you know, we got to, We have to look out into the future and and kind of figure out where we think we're going to be in you know three, five, maybe even ten years, and figure out what the ROI is over a longer term or a longer horizon. I think. So is that the advice you would give other construction companies? You know, looking at the big picture when they're looking at technology. What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, I think you always have to pair the investment you're going to make with where you think you're going to be in the future. Um, you know, if you're in a declining business, you're, you're probably not going to want to make as big of an investment in technology unless you think that investment is going to help you, you know, somehow get over that hump. And is there is there one technology that you think has helped you guys get over that technology that technology hump, or is it just a whole host of things that you've implemented over time that you said has really helped you guys be at the cutting edge of things? Yeah, I think it's the compounding effect of the decisions we've made over the course of our 20-year history of you know leveraging and implementing technology as we've seen fit. You know, every time we see a a problem that we can uh, fix or improve with technology, we, we try to adapt that as quickly as possible to help us stay ahead of our competition. And looking at that overall, are you guys pleased where you've been and where you're going, you know, where you are right now and where you're headed? I, absolutely, and I think we've, we've probably made more progress in the last three years as far as the technology we've adapted. Um, then we have probably the, 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 the prior 20. Um, yeah, and I think that's a, a big part of that is how fast technology is advancing um, you know, in, in the current day versus where it was, you know, ten, even 10 years ago. Well, Dominic, we're thrilled to have you on the show, and uh, we think we wish you guys continued success. Thank you, Peggy. All right, that's our sub you should know. So stick around, we've got more to come.